Hello YouTube and welcome back to another TFT video. If you're new here, let me introduce myself. I am your pal UC, and this right here is a Pengu Party. It is a new game mode that just came out on the PBE. Uh, I don't I don't think it actually just came out. I think it's come out a bit ago. I just haven't played it yet. I actually played my first match last night, and with the disappearance of Chonk's treasure, I thought, what a better time to play a fun new game mode than the present. So I will be navigating this new Pengu's party with you. And we're going to see how it goes. It was pretty cool last time I played it. You get to play some traits from older sets, which I think is really awesome. I just hope that... Oh, well, I got one that I didn't quite recognize before, Elderwood. That was actually right before I started playing. Uh, Socialite, I remember. Coven, I remember as well. The champion nearest to the center of your team is the chosen coven leader gaining bonus ability power. Whenever your team casts an ability, the coven leader gains mana. That's kind of cool. I think I'm going to take that because it sounds like... It sounds like we could do something really cool with that. Oh man, Socialite is also kind of awesome. These are kind of similar. I'm going to take Coven. Uh, just because I want to see what this is like. Like, this will... See, this is why I like these game modes. It, it just, like, very much promotes a very different style of play. And uh, this is some of the best stuff right here with this Pengu's Party. Since you can play older traits, which is really amazing. So, I really need to decide on who's going to be my... My Coven carry that I'll give all of my AP to. I don't know quite yet who it's going to be. Man, two-star Ari, is that... Is that worth getting, really? I don't know. Arcanist would be pretty good, but... Other than that, I... It's a hard choice here. I guess I don't really need Jaina too much. I feel like Dragon Lord is so good. Oh, but what am I talking about? I'm thinking about the old game mode. Oh, I forgot it's Prismatic Prelude. Okay, now this is pretty awesome. I could go for Faded and get a very high capped Faded board. Tiniest Titans? No. No, not going long either. I don't want to like be locked into anything, so I actually skip that. You no longer gain interest. Gain 10 gold now. Round start, gain 4 experience. You know what? I think I'm, I might take this. Um, I don't want to take either of the other two augments, so... Interest is... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to take this. This sounds like something I would like, even though I'm not sure if I will or not. She can actually be right up there. No reason for her to be shy all the way back. Well, now that I don't gain interest, it doesn't really matter too much here. Um, I do want to make, yeah, you know, I kind of want to go for like, I, you guys got to stick with me for a second. I, my brain is thinking way too fast that I could possibly comprehend, but, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to give up, give up some good tries here. Let, let's see. Try to come up with something new and spicy to work with. It really is dependent though. If I actually get lucky enough to get the Nico augment, because I think I'm going to need the Nico augment. Oh, I, I totally forgot you get an infinite golden item remover in this game. It's just an infinite item remover. You can take any item off of any unit, which is really useful. Uh, that's, that's such a good item. I usually take that augment if I ever see it. So the one that gives you the infinite remover. It's quite good. Okay, uh, at least I'm gaining experience really fast. There we go. And then I, I can give her a Bloodthirster eventually. Maybe I'll go Arcanist, like a full Arcanist. Three-star Nico build. <laughs> yeah, I want to do something like that. Uh, what does the other Coven trait do? 80 AP. That's pretty good. The champion nearest to the center of your team is chosen as the Coven leader. Gain bonus ability power. Whenever your team casts an ability, the Coven leader gains mana. I feel like that would be really good on Nico. But she kind of needs the augment to, to actually full-on carry. I don't know if Nar... Yeah, Nar kind of scales with AP as well. He could be pretty good. 
In fact, these are Gnar items right here. Maybe I'll switch over to him. Oh, it looks like this guy's getting Dryad also. I don't know. I, I mean, if I if I get the the Nico augment, you better believe I'm gonna go Nico. There's just no other way about it. Whoa, dude. So, oh, he got starter kit, and he has a two star Nico. Okay, well, I don't think I'll be able to play her. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's looking pretty unlikely that I will, because. I mean, he already has that two-star. I mean, it's still possible, right? It's it's not impossible to play her still, but it's a lot less likely that we will have an easy time three-starring her. Maybe I could consider shifting towards something else. Maybe like a Morgana or something, or even Nar here would be good. If I get him a Bloodthirster, I might just switch him over and make him the Coven Leader. We'll see. I mean, it, he would definitely be better right now, just because... He's a two-star. And he's benefiting from Dryad and all that stuff. I definitely win this one. I don't know if I wanted to win this one, per se. Oh, wait. <laughs> Maybe I'm counting my chickens before they hatch. No, never mind. It's looking pretty alright. Dude, Zyra's a beast at the moment in this patch. She is pretty crazy. Okay, well, we got that guy. Like I said, I don't really know if we wanted to beat that guy. Did we already do the carousel? Nope. Not yet, but it is going to be an encounter carousel, so three cost champions. Um, Soraka seems like a pretty sure pick for me, if not this Tristana right here for that Bloodthirster that, that I need. I think that's what I'm going to get right now, even though three Heavenly Soraka would be pretty good. It would give my team a lot more AP as well. Oh well, too late now. We'll just pick up Soraka if I find her. I think this is actually fine. And how much? Uh, she only has 100 AP, dude. That's not even that much. Okay. Uh, ooh, I forgot I get to pick again. Phantom. Combat start. Random enemies have their health reduced. Set one health. One enemy's health to 30% maximum health. So, whoa. Okay. Jazz is alright. It's not going to come in handy here, though, I don't think. Gain a shimmer scale item. These items give gold as well as combat power. Goldmancer Staff, Crown of Champions. I'm going to take Phantom. I've actually never seen this before. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever seen it. The trade appeared in TFT's beta set June 2019. Okay. I've actually never seen that. But that's kind of why I picked it. Because I've never seen that. And that sounds pretty cool. Oh, I got a Bloodthirster here. I guess I'll just put it on Nico for now since she already has all of the benefits already so it should be pretty all right it's looking good uh sort of more or less uh she's kind of taking a lot of damage right now all right oh he's only can you do it you can do it you could win now we kind of need the dead there you go there you go that's good fantastic we still need a two-star nico if we actually want her to carry. She's not going to carry without being two-starred. There's just no way. It's not going to happen. Oh, there's another Nico. We've slowly been summoning her. Slowly but surely. Good thing we have this magnetic remover here. Those are actually phenomenal in our items. That's pretty much it, right? There's... There we go. That looks a lot better. Yeah, that looks... That looks pretty good. Okay, I'm glad he's still in the middle there. I remember this Coven uh, trait. I just don't remember what set it was from. Oh, it says it right there. Reckoning 2021? I don't remember exactly what set that was. Is that the one with Dawnbringer? Because that's what I really want. Honestly, that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm really hoping that Dawnbringer's on here. That was one of my favorite traits. You'd go like Dawnbringer, Karma, and Karma would just sit in a corner and she'd cast like a million times. That was such a cool trait. That or Skirmisher, dude. Skirmisher as well? I don't know if you guys remember Skirmisher, but Skirmisher was sick. That was the first time I ever made it to Diamond in TFT, and I'm pretty sure I just used Skirmisher the entire way to get up there. Skirmisher Jax, that's what you would use to go. It's really good. 
they would like put like a rage blade on him and he'd just kind of like he didn't have any aoe skills which sounds insane to think about at this point because so many champions do but he could carry just single targeting one thing at a time over and over again it's pretty good all right uh shen i don't really need tom kench i don't think i need i'm almost positive i don't really need him and that item uh well a bow i guess is fine Umbral Bruiser. I could do... Not him. Dude, I could do Silas. Now... Oh, somebody already um, gave up here this game. But let me think. I, Silas would not be bad. And... Uh, oh, oh, no. There we go. Okay, so Silas would not be bad. Be kind of good, actually. Do we have him? I'm going to sell this. I don't need that. I do need Rek'Sai. Maybe I could go like more Bruiser. Have Silas carry with Coven. I think I'm gonna take Coven. I, oh, what? What the heck was that? It, it is. What is that item? Boss's knuckles. When the holder drops below 60% health, they become the boss. <laughs> oh man, it's just like. Was that last set the one? No, it wasn't last set. I think it was the set before last set. It's Dragon Lands. Blistering Strikes, Triforce, Keepers. I don't want any one-cost units. I don't really care. Oh, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll take this. Just a generic combat augment. So I don't get completely destroyed. I'm going to do this. I want to give him... Maybe I should... Mm, this is tough. I do have two right here. But I feel like this really wide comp that I have going on is, is quite good. I still have set one enemy's health to 30% maximum health. Hmm. I haven't really been noticing that at all. Like, I've been looking around. No, I haven't been looking around. I've been, like, thinking, trying to cook with all of these traits that I have. Now, I might go for Bruiser. I don't think I'll go more Arcanist. Or Bruiser is what I'm thinking currently. Maybe some Dryad. Right now, Nar is carrying. And he's doing a pretty fine job at it. But I, I think I ultimately want to put Silas right there. I just don't think that the Titans is very good on him. That's why I haven't already replaced him yet. I just don't think the Titans is good, dude. Disco Duelist. So, oh man, this guy is going to be tough to beat later on. That's for sure. We can expect him to be very difficult. Oh, this is this is really good right here. And another bruiser. It's just begging me to switch over. But I don't think I can yet. I guess I could take out these two. Would get, oh, I would get rid of Heavenly and Reaper. But it could give me four. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to do it next round. Definitely want to level up soon. Good thing I don't have to worry about ecoing. Sometimes that... It's really the relief you need. And then you can just focus on trying to cook. Oh, a frozen mallet. That's so cool to see. Glacial mallet. I was close. Attacks have a chance to stun enemies and deal bonus magic damage. That's pretty awesome. Is that really good on Trist? Yeah, it looks like it is. Uh, I lasted the first dude. Player one, dude. Okay, well, I did get an earlier pick in the carousel here, but what are the chances I get something I actually need? Probably an item. Um, a rod. Rod would be really good. Or tear. Uh, tear's gone. I'll take rod. Don't mind me. Don't mind me there. Okay, so... Now I do have three Silas items. I could very heavily consider putting him in now. Or maybe I could even go like six Bruiser. I, I feel like going Bruiser a lot of the time isn't really that... Oh, okay, wait. Coven, obviously, right? Yeah, two-star Galio. That's, that's very, very lucky that I found him. 
Okay, I'm, I'm cooking now. I am going to take away this. Put that. And then maybe like this. That's good. That's good. Dang, I kind of have to center him up though, which isn't great. But maybe the fact that Galio is right there will mean that he can survive long enough. Mm, I can't put Invoker in. Invoker would be pretty sweet to put in. I'm going to hold on it to Annie just in case I am able to put it in. The reason Invoker would be good is because every time that my units cast... Oh, nice. Nice. Look at Silas. Every time that my units cast, it scales with this. The Coven Leader gains mana, so the more that Silas is casting, the better. The more he heals, the more damage he does. I'm going to try to three-star him this game. Ooh. Come on, dude. You can do it. Definitely got to at least two-star him. Ooh. Oh, I can't believe he won that. That is pretty surprising that he won that, actually. He was, it was not looking good for me. Okay, so I need to find a way to... Need to find a way. Dang, dude. This is a tough one. This is indeed a toughie. <laughs> That's really bad. That's a really bad positioning right there. You know, I, I might as well have just leveled up here since I had enough to. Being level 8 here would have been good to guarantee not losing. I think I'm still in a pretty good spot. But it's possible. Okay, I can... I, I realize how to put 2 Invoker in and keep my Umbral going and all that stuff. Whoa, that was crazy. 11,000 damage? <gasps> what is this? Dude. Dude. <laughs> Kane is insane that was insane i've never seen anything like that i feel like he just completely deleted all of my units well now i really regret not leveling up but there we go yeah also you know my units are obviously not positioned very well so let me try to do something a little bit more like this there we go, and then I have a lot of front line now. It's a little hard to fit this all in. And then the sixth Brucer. Oh, I have Aatrox right there. Aatrox will do for sure. Okay. So I definitely don't need her. It's not not supplying me with anything. I don't need him. I'd rather have this. And then sell that. Got to eco all the way to level 9. Bruiser. He's just giving me Dryad. I'd rather have Invoker. There we go. And now going level 9 is a lot more feasible. I am a lot closer to reaching it. Now it'd be really nice if I had another DPS, basically. not sure who can be my second carry here. I'm very much depending on Silas just to carry me. I need to reach level 9 even if I want to just 3 star him as well. Like, he just needs it. Okay, a loon might be my other carry. I just need somebody else to do damage. And you know what? A loon does do backline damage, so that's definitely going to be useful here. Little buddies. Your 4 and 5 cost champions gain 6... Ooh, that's... 1... Ooh. Long distance pals isn't going to work here. It's too complicated. Keepers isn't going to work here. I'm going to take this. I don't think this is... It, it was the best from what I had offered, but it's not great. <laughs> now, Hextech would give me some more survivability. Jeweled Gauntlet would give me more damage. I could do like... 
Jeweled Gauntlet, Giant Slayer, and uh, Spear Shoujin whenever I get a spear. Should be pretty good. There we go. And now he still has the Coven buff. Whoa. What does this guy have? This is like uh, one of those dragon abilities. Um, forgot what it was called, man. I love that set, though. That set with all the big dragons. Dragon lands, I'm pretty sure. It was really, really good. Dude, that ribbon is unkillable. He three-starred everybody because he has prismatic ticket. That's insane. <laughs> okay, well. Well, uh, four free rerolls is nice. Maybe I could hit a two-star Silas, which I really, really need. There's one. A new deer for some reason. A couple two stars. Okay, so I did not hit what I needed. Um, putting it. Uh, well, you know what? What if I do this? I mean, too bad he's not Bruiser. He's not really benefiting from much else. But we'll see. We'll see. Maybe it's worth having that much AP on him. It's worth the it's worth the experiment. He really doesn't gain anything else though, so I just put it on him because he does a little bit of AoE damage. No, I mean He's not doing too badly. Ooh no. No. Okay, it was a bad idea. I'll admit it. It was a pretty bad idea. I'm gonna sell him immediately. Gauntlet. Tear. I guess I'll take tear. Oh, no I won't. It's gone. Um, I guess this. Yeah, actually. Even though that's not the tear, that's pretty good. I can get rid of Umbral, it's fine. It's nothing crazy right now, not providing anything insane for our board. Glacial, huh? I've never seen this one. Oh, it's just a glacial mag- it gives you the mallets. Okay. I'm gonna do this. This will give me Dryad. This gives me this. And Invoker. There we go. Be really hard to get him out off of the middle there, but okay, I can survive just a little bit longer, not too much longer though. I'm very low HP. This guy doesn't have too much gold. Oh, this guy's loaded. Okay, with a Zir in the back line, it should be better because. Uh, you know, he'll actually have a front line. Silas will carry as well. Okay, this this is probably a lot better. Then I can have like a little double carry action going on between him and Azir. I'll level up. And I'll just put this... Yeah, that's a... Uh... There we go. That's actually pretty awesome. He's going to be able to build up quite a bit of gains this set with my bruiser units. Galio almost has 4k HP. If I just put in one more item on him, one item, one belt or anything like that, he's definitely going to have 4k HP. Come on, bro. You gotta get big set. You gotta get big. Oh. I see a lot of people uh, three-starring quite a few units here. I'm slacking. I'm slacking. Oh, dude. I didn't realize she was so strong. I, I mean, I always knew Keanu was, like, pretty strong, but... That's on another level right now. She's really gonna beat me like that. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, I can't beat that. Look at her. She's healing so much per hit. Okay, bud. I get it. Okay, luckily, 
I still have two hits left. Just really need to make sure that I'm able to two-star Silas. Ideally, three-star Silas. I haven't checked if anybody's going him, though. This guy's not going him. He has the boss twice. That's so cool. I hope that the... I think I've seen something that... There's, like, the Warwick augment. Forgot what it was called. Um... Forgot what it was called. Ravenous Hunter. That's what it's called. That's like, it's probably my favorite augment in all of TFT. So, uh, I really hope that that exists within this game mode. Be really awesome. Okay. Miss all these. Dude, what's with all the Aurelias, though? Who did I put in there? Set? Hmm. Tough choice here. Okay, that's an easy choice. And, uh, I guess I'll put a hard steal on set. Nothing else I can really... Oh, I suppose I could've given Galio 4k HP. We'll just let it sit for now. Oh, this guy's going, like, Bruiser or something as well. Look at his Annie. His Bruiser Annie's huge. Oh. <laughs> well. Uh, that guy definitely gets me. Dude, I'm gonna need to hit something really strong in order to survive. Otherwise, it's gonna be over pretty soon here. Alright. Okay, I'm... Very close to that, Galio. Dude, no two-star... No two-star Silas, though. I feel like that's really screwing me over that I don't have that. I might go this next round. It might be it. This guy's like Sharima and Mountain. Oh my. That's a big ribbon right there. Mascot. <laughs> I remember Mascot. Oh, that guy took Kevin as well. Oh man, this guy. This guy, dude. Now he has a two-star cane. That's a little bit better than before. Hopefully they just don't target him right away and they're able to get him after. Ooh. I mean, she's gonna come back twice as strong now, right? Uh, oh, dude. Oh, he's definitely gonna... Yep. Yep. Oof. That hurts. I really enjoy this game mode, though. I hope you enjoyed watching me get a little into it. This is, like I said, my second game in this game mode. So I'm definitely going to play it a lot more. But as always, I hope you enjoyed my commentary. I plan to get a lot better at this game mode and just do some really insane stuff. Um, but I'll see you in the next one. I'm probably going to post a few more today. So enjoy. See you.